Welcome back to my channel. Let's go through this box. The first one here at the top is the Wave 1 Fashionistas doll missing a shoe. I think she's the wild, the wild one, wild style. <laughs> and so something that's funny about this is I tried to dye her hair. You can see it's a little bit redder here at the bottom. So, yep, that's something I tried to do. I named her Britney, like Britney Spears. And she has her necklace, which is kind of amazing. I remember being frustrated that the dress was really short. Like, you couldn't bend her without, like, something happening. She has the articulated legs, and I think she's articulated here at the chest, too. Like, she can bend up. Yeah, see? She can, like, bend here, and then she bends at the waist as normal. What is this pose? Oh, these were the line of dolls where they used the Barbie Girl song, even though they had the lawsuit. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like these dolls because of how articulated they are. I I like them too, but honestly, my hot take, I like the Bedman Snap knees better than these fully articulated knees because I like the bottom heavy weight that the Bedman Snap knees have. I like how like they're gummy and they've got a weight to them. As someone who didn't have doll stands as a kid and I would just lean them up <laughs> against whatever, usually like the side of the couch or something, uh, these would not stay. They would always fall, but the Bedman Snap knees, they could like... They could hold their own. The next one I have is also a fashionista. I think she is the Teresa one. And she was the sassy, the sassy girl. And she has this pink highlight in her hair. She has her boots and they are still on her. Even though they look like they don't really fit. Look at that. Same articulation, but she is the Teresa one. There you go, that's the comparison. I think both of these have canicle on hair. The really like feathery light kind. So that's her. I have one more fashionista and I know this one is missing pieces. I know. Uh, I think she had puffs and these are not the shoes she came with. I don't think. Uh, she is the glam fashionista and she has saran hair. So I'll show you the comparison. This is Kanekalon. See how it's so fluffy? And then this is Saran. I'm pretty sure. See? That's the difference. Kanekalon, Saran. Okay, so this one, I liked her vibe. This dress would not stay on. I actually sewed it shut because it would not stay on. It would always fall. And before I knew how to sew, I remember taping it onto her back. So that's something that would happen. And then I had to re sew this little piece onto her skirt because it just got really ripped and the printing doesn't go all the way around, it ends here at the back, so it's plain on the back. And she is very articulated, but she kind of like has a different kind of vibe than the other ones. I think she has a different leg sculpt. I think she's a little thinner. Yeah, actually, I haven't noticed this until now. Let's... I'm so sorry, girl, I have to roll up your skirts. Look at the legs. So I think the other two I showed you have the same legs. And even look at the back. The backs are different. I remember this one was the worst to stand up against something. She would not stay. She's, oh, she, she still does it. Look, she bends at the knees. Like immediately, she just falls over. So even if you lean her against something, she would like do that. So I would always have her like sitting. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Oh, so this is the horse riding Barbie and she came with a horse. I don't think this is the original clothing she came in. I remember this being one of my favorite ones, so I would play with her all of the time, and I remember her, her riding pants which were more of like a like a leathery kind of feeling. They were like completely ripped, and the little leather pieces were like flaking off, and I gave her these boots so she would have some more weight to her. I think these are from a Mycene doll. They're like platform boots. Uh, I think this jacket might be from the original though, and the helmet as well. And she has different glovettes, because I don't know. She is also one of the ones that would like... See, she doesn't stay... St see, uh, She doesn't stay straight. And then she has like this pink lipstick going on. So yeah. And then she has... I don't know. This... At first I was like, is this Kanekalon? But it almost feels like a nylon. It's very... Maybe it's just a result of being like an older type of doll. I'm sure this is from like 2008 or 2009 though. This one is from the Disney store, and this is Pocahontas. 
and she's not from the round of dolls that were articulated she was before that and her necklace is sewn onto the dress and it's this kind of velvety suede this velvety material and then her hair is like this and it didn't mat Disney after all these years her head is also very solid that's like a phenomena I noticed with these Disney store dolls the older ones their heads are like very hard okay <laughs> she didn't come with shoes I'm sure she didn't and she came with Miko and the hummingbird I think the hummingbird's name is flit and those are both downstairs with my sister so I kept those yeah oh here is Disney store Ariel and I think she is from the same wave as the Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty that I showed you in another video where I did the Parks dolls and the Vintage dolls. She doesn't have her little fin, which is kind of sad. And she has this kind of orangey hair, as opposed to the bright red hair that they have now. And she also has this little shell top. But I remember it used to have these elastics that all the other ones have, but they broke off. Um, so this is probably from like 2005. This is one of the first ones I had. Oh, she has earrings. Isn't that cute? This one is a dog Barbie and I remember really liking her. I liked her outfit and she came with these cute little dogs and a dog little feeding tray. That stuff. I also still have that stuff. Her hair is very gelled though. It, it like seeped out of her hair. It's like sticky and like really hard. So I thought this top was also really cute. I used to want it. I still kind of do. I like the shorts. I really, I really like this outfit. Like 10 out of 10 would wear this outfit today if the shirt was longer. <laughs> she also has these big like work kind of cargo boots. So we love that. She is not articulated at the chest, but she is, oh no, it's coming down. Articulated at the waist. And this is kind of coming apart. The Velcro is like giving out a little. She has articulated knees like this and she kind of I think the boots give her like that weight I was talking about so I, I don't remember having a problem with her I like her makeup she's pretty this one is a Mycene doll I think this is Madison and she was like a ski one and here are the the, the skis she came with and she comes with earmuffs she came with like all this stuff and I really liked her and so yeah, I thought she was really cool. I really like this outfit. I'm all about it. I think they fit into the skis like that. <laughs> I don't think they do my scene anymore, but I remember liking it at the time. She has bend and snap knees. That really makes a sound there. It's like ASMR. <sighs> this is Barbie from Toy Story 3 in her jumpsuit with her leg warmers. And I'm sure she had shoes, but I don't have them. And her hair is in this cute little ponytail. This looks like it's saran. And there's a lot of gel seepage coming out of here. You probably can't see it. So this is all of one piece. The belt is attached as well. And yeah, this is the Mattel Tiana. Don't have her shoes. I have one of her shoes, if that counts for anything. And I did this hairstyle on her because her other hairstyle got really messed up. So I did braids on her and then I made it into a bun. Which I think is it's kind of cool, but I'm not gonna take this out anytime soon. <laughs> she comes with this dress, it's not printed on the back. And here's a little bow, and it has this kind of detail. I think it's really nice, I like the blue dress. I'm about it, I like her face paint too. So this one, I remember getting it at Target. This one, was from Toys R Us. She is, I think, the 2008 or 2009 birthday Barbie, and this was one of my favorite dolls. I remember naming her Annalise, like the princess from Princess and the Popper, because I didn't have the Princess and the Popper dolls. I wasn't pretending that she was the princess from Princess and the Popper. I just really liked the name Annalise. I still do. I thought this dress was just so pretty and so beautiful, and when I saw her at the store, I was like, oh, I really want this doll and I got it and she's so pretty and look at her there's a video that someone did about like the worst Barbie dolls they've done and this made someone's list because they didn't like how she was one of the first dolls who didn't have articulated knees like she has those plastic knees that they do now and I mean yeah that's not that great but 
the, the skirt is really big and the whole outfit comes off and I think this designer is really really nice I love this dress I, I love this doll like I love her I love her she's so pretty she she was one of my favorite ones whenever I would go on like a trip or anything this was one of the ones that I would bring and that's her face she's really pretty I really like her and I like the layers and like I love this doll this one was the one I pretended was her best friend she's also from Toys R Us and she is a bride Barbie from 2008. I named her Lacey. I still remember some of their names. Uh, if not most of their names or all of their names. And she has a crown and she came with a veil but I remember cutting the veil off. Because I couldn't do anything with her hair if the veil was on. And so her hair is like this saran. The other one's saran too. And I did a braid crown on her. And this is her dress. It's really really pretty. And she has bend and snap knees you to hear him. <laughs> and she has this really cool like asymmetrical thing going on with the bodice. I love this doll. So I would always pretend that she was best friends with Annalise. And they kind of, even though they're both Barbie, they kind of have different faces. So they had like different kind of personalities. She's like a little bit more tan than her. You can maybe see. I love these ones. I don't know where her outfit is anymore, but this was from, I don't know what it was called, like the Black Label line of fashion, fashionistas? No, not fashionistas. I think they were called like Barbie Basics or something. She was one of the models. I got her at Walmart. This is not the dress she came in. This is like an ice skater outfit. I don't know where the other dress is, but I love this dress because it reminds me of Sharpay in the Sharpay movie. And I remember even at the time, I was like, it's Sharpay's dress. No part of her is articulated. This one was the first Barbie Basics doll I had. I remember naming her Kara. She looks like a business executive. And yeah, she has this like bodycon dress. I remember not really liking this dress because it would always slide off and like around. And I do still have her shoes though, which is like kind of weird that I have them. And she has a bob. And she has this like very adult looking Barbie face. I don't know if these were meant to be collector or not. I know they were black label, but like they were not that expensive. I'm not really sure. Then we have this pajama Barbie and she came with like a bed set and she kind of looks like Gabby Gabby. And I think I even named her Gabby. This was way before, but I don't know, maybe like Gabrielle or something. She's a bed set Barbie. This one is the queen of gelled hair and she was a hairstyling Barbie and I think she was from Canada and so I did this braid on her a dog chewed her arm uh, a dog is no longer with us I miss her uh, I named her Harriet because she was the hairstyling doll and she came with like this glue thing and I remember getting glue all in her hair and she came with like a chair and I still have the chair but she does not have her shoes so and this one's Ben and Snap Ben and Snap. This one is from the I Can Be line, and I named her Carly, <laughs> creative, because she's the race car driving one. Maybe she knows Lightning McQueen. We have the Mattel Mulan, and she looks like this, and she's not articulated, no shoes, and I did this like hairstyle thing on her, and I think I sewed the crown into her head too. I love this dress. I like how glam she is. She has Ben and Snap knees as well. This here is a beach Barbie. I don't know where her bathing suit is, which is sad, but I like how she has earrings and like that. She kind of has bigger feet too. And then finally, this one, I remember calling her Midge. My mom said this was one of her dolls. So that is all for this video. Let me know if you have any of these dolls in your collection or if you had any of these as a child. Uh, definitely let me know, leave me a comment below and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. Have a great day, bye guys.